Our home, Earth is but a tiny speck in the vast tapestry of the cosmos. Beyond the familiar sights and sounds of our blue planet, there exists a universe teeming with mystery and intrigue. Today we embark on an extraordinary journey to a world both alien and uncharted, the remote and enigmatic LV-426. At first glance, this barren expanse may seem devoid of life, an inhospitable wasteland untouched by the hand of time. But beneath the surface there lie secrets waiting to be uncovered, stories yet to be told. As we venture into this unexplored realm, we will witness the resilience of life in even the most extreme of environments. We will come face to face with the unknown and confront the mysteries that lie hidden in the farthest reaches of the universe. Join me, David Attenborough, as we journey into the depths of LV-426 and unlock the enigmatic secrets that dwell within its heart. This is a voyage unlike any other, a voyage that will challenge our understanding of life and remind us of the infinite wonders that lie beyond the boundaries of our own planet. In the far reaches of our galaxy lies a world shrouded in mystery and danger, a place where few have dared to venture. LV-426. This barren, moon-like exoplanet has been the subject of much speculation and fear. Here, a perpetual storm rages on, casting an eerie darkness over the desolate terrain. As we approach the source of the signal, a colossal structure looms on the horizon a derelict spaceship of unknown origin. Its design is unlike anything we have encountered before, with a haunting organic quality that seems to defy the very laws of physics. The hull of the ship appears to be made of a strange biometallic substance that seems to meld seamlessly with the landscape. Its eerie skeletal structure has a life of its own, almost as if the ship itself were a living organism. Inside the ship, the air is thick with an unsettling silence, punctuated only by the distant echoes of our own footsteps. The walls and floors are covered in a labyrinth of sinewy patterns and textures, suggesting a level of technological sophistication we can scarcely comprehend. At the heart of this mysterious vessel, we find the remains of its sole occupant, a colossal humanoid creature forever entombed within the confines of its own spacecraft. The details of its final moments are lost to time, leaving us to ponder the fate of this lone traveller from the stars. What stories could this ancient sentinel tell? Were it able to share its wisdom? What civilizations has it witnessed? What secrets does it hold within its eternal embrace? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of LV-426, we come to appreciate the intricate tapestry of life that stretches across the cosmos, connecting us all in a dance of birth, growth, and ultimately decay. Upon closer examination, we notice a peculiar feature of the mummified pilot's remains. The chest cavity appears to have suffered significant trauma, with the rib bones forced outwards as though something had burst forth from within. This gruesome detail leads us to theorise on the possible cause of the pilot's untimely demise. It is conceivable that the pilot fell victim to a parasitic organism one capable of using its host as an incubator before violently emerging to continue its life cycle. Such a parasite would no doubt be an apex predator in its ecosystem, possessing an unparalleled ability to adapt and survive. However, the fossilized state of the pilot suggests that this event occurred eons ago, leaving us to ponder 
the current state of this deadly life form. The discovery of this derelict spacecraft raises more questions than it answers. What race of beings constructed such a vessel? What was their purpose in traversing the cosmos? And what led to their ultimate demise on this forsaken world? As we delve deeper into the derelict spaceship, we discover an entrance to a vast hall hidden beneath the surface. The air is thick with a blue fog that seems to envelop the entire chamber, casting an otherworldly glow on the surroundings. As we make our way down, the air becomes increasingly thick and heavy, as if we are venturing into the very bowels of an alien world. As we venture further into the fog, our visibility decreases, making it difficult to discern our surroundings, and then Quite unexpectedly, we come across a most peculiar discovery. Before us lies a large leathery egg, the likes of which we have never seen before. Its appearance bears a resemblance to certain earth-bound organisms, such as the eggs of reptiles or even certain insect species. Now, as we draw closer, we can see that there is something within the egg, a presence that is both intriguing and unnerving. This could be our first glimpse of the life form responsible for the pilot's demise. As we watch in fascination, the egg's flaps slowly begin to open, revealing a dark, pulsating mass within. The sight is both mesmerizing and unsettling, as we come face to face with a creature that has remained hidden for eons. Whoa! I've got him! I am! I'm okay. He's just... Uh, He's a strong man. It is truly a marvel of the natural world. Observe the long, slender fingers, equipped with razor-sharp claws that seem perfectly designed for grasping and holding onto its prey. A look at this elongated, tubular appendage extending from its underside. One can only hypothesize about the function of this egg oh, it may serve as a means of delivering nutrients, or perhaps it is used to inject a parasitic oh, organism bugger. into its host, as we speculated earlier with the mummified pilot. The possibilities are both fascinating and deeply unsettling. It is time to return this creature back into its environment, very carefully and gently does it. One can only imagine the havoc that such a creature would wreak upon any unsuspecting life forms it encountered, whether on its home planet or beyond. The mere existence of this deadly organism serves as a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk in the uncharted reaches of space. For now, we must take our leave of this ancient chamber and allow the secrets of LB-426 to remain undisturbed. It's unlike anything we've ever encountered before. The mystery, the danger. It's a testament to the incredible diversity of life in the universe. Uh, I just need you to repeat from the bit about the creatures requiring our absence. Of course. Oh, is here okay? Yeah? Uh, fine, let me... Okay, here we go. In this moment, we are reminded that these creatures require our absence to survive, not our help. If we could only step aside and trust in nature, life will find a way. My word. Welcome to Wayland Utari. Wayland Corporation. Building better worlds.